Hey, welcome to Richard Childress Racing. I'm Wade Anderson, Product Specialist Manager with Akuma America. I'm Rocky Helms, Director of Manufacturing at Richard Childress Racing. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the Multishoe 4000 and then the type of work that they do on it. So Rocky, tell me a little bit about what you guys do with our Milturn Multishoe 4000. How long have you had that machine? Uh, we've had that machine for about four years. Uh, we, we kind of brought that machine in. It was the very first uh, Milturn type machine that we had. and. Um, we wanted to bring more complex parts and be able to do them in one operation. So with the milling and the turning integrated together, uh, with the U4000 have the lower turret, uh, you also have the option of working on the main spindle and the sub spindle simultaneously. Um, you also, we have the full five axis capability so we can also do intake manifold and cylinder head manufacturing um, on that machine. So the more work you can do in one operation without interjecting operator intervention, the tighter tolerances you can do, the better your quality can be. Yeah, yeah. So tell me a little bit about the parts that we're looking at today. So we're, uh, we're the only NASCAR team that does camshaft manufacturing in-house. Previously we've been doing that on the LU300 MY. We had a tail stock and upper and lower turret. And we were basically pinch turning and then pinch grooving. Okay. Uh, we were having to send our blanks out to have the gun drill portion. There's a one inch hole. So that's the one inch hole? Yep, one okay. inch hole runs about 18 inches uh, deep into the park and we were sending that um, outside to get done. When we brought the U4000 on board, we moved the camshaft manufacturing to that. That was one of the first things that we moved to that machine. We were able to eliminate a couple operations and we do it in two ops now. We uh, have the high pressure coolant on the U4000, so we are also able to gun drill the one inch hole um, in-house. That drastically cut down on the lead times of having to ship them out, work through the uh, other customers, the other vendors system, and then try to get back. Okay. We also are able to work up close to the chuck. We have a, a, a big enough through board that we can load the bar stock, work up against the chuck, we do about two or three of the loads and then we use the sub spindle to pull the uh, cam out and work on two or three more and work our way all the way down the camshaft. Okay. Once we get done with turning the blank, we send it out for heat treat and then we bring it back and we go over to the Akuma uh, cam grinder. We do the uh, rough grinding instead of some cam manufacturers mill this off. With the Akuma cam grinder, we can grind it in about 30 minutes. So we will rough grind the uh, blanks, put them on the shelf, if there's a little bit of stock left here, we can come back and do a final grind um, at whatever timeline they want and also to whatever final grind that they want. Okay. Tell me a little bit about the spindle that we're looking at. So uh, several years ago, a lot of the geometry on the spindle side started falling outside of the common um, forging that a lot of the teams were buying. Uh, everybody for years had used a forging. You machined the top ball joint and the bottom ball joint and you had a forged arm that you machined also and then you weld them together. Several years ago, the geometry started falling outside of that. The um, supplier kind of dwindled down their inventory and we had to go to billet. So when we brought the Multis, uh, it, the timing worked out pretty much exactly perfect. We, we migrated to billet spindles at about the same time we got the Multis machine. So we use the uh, horizontal, like we talked about earlier, we, uh, the MA50 that we have. We also have uh, another version of that. MA500. We used the horizontal machine, a big portion of the spindle, and then we fixed her off of the back side. We go to the Multis U4000 and do all of the turning work on it, and then we go back to the horizontal and we finish it up from there. It's very interesting work, Rocky. I appreciate you taking the time showing me that. Be sure to tune in for future videos.